Welcome. In front of me is a OnePlus 6T and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, before I get started, I am going to quickly mention a couple things. Number one, I can see that the device is locked and number two, I am doing this on the basically newest version uh, and the last version that this device will ever get uh, of OS. So this method will work basically as long as this device will exist as it's not going to get any kind of new updates. So if you have a OnePlus uh, 60 that is locked and it was updated to the newest version, this will work. Anyway, um, you can see a locked pattern. Uh, we also have the Google lock as well. There we go. So to get started, we're going to back out to the beginning of the setup. Uh, but if you're at the beginning already, you want to progress, connect to your Wi-Fi network, and then back up here. I, as you can see, I am already connected to my network. And next, we're going to select emergency call in here. Once you've connected to network, come on, there we go. Then you're going to select emergency rescue. I'm going to tap on that again. From here, we're going to select add contact, allow while using the app. Again, we're going to select add contact once more, go to settings. Here we want to select the text below, uh, see all apps with this permission. And you want to select Chrome. From here, select see all Chrome permissions and then tap on the icon itself and choose open. And here typical accept and continue and no thanks. And in the search bar, you will want to navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. Like so. Next, in this regard, all these pop ups, I guess consent. And from here, you're going to scroll all the way down or not all the way down, but scroll down till you find settings up and you want to open it up. Next, we're going to navigate in here to apps and notifications. See all however many apps it's listed right here. And then you want to start off with Android setup. And here you're going to select force stop and OK. I'm going to go back. Next, we're going to be looking for Google Play services. Right over here. And here you're going to select disable, disable up and for stop and OK. So now that we have disabled that, we're going to go back again. And next, <coughs> sorry. Uh, next, we're going to be looking to, I'm actually going to check quickly catch up with the guide. Okay, so once we have disabled both of these applications, uh, we are now simply going to go back all the way to the setup, apparently. There we go. And from here, select start. Agree, agree. Skip. Don't copy. Skip. I guess we're going to select agree and continue. Um, let's see, do we need? I don't think we need any kind of screen lock, so I'm just going to select skip right here. Next. Next. Start. Let's go back. And next, can I just like go without actually going through this? Apparently not, because reasons, Jesus, come on, OnePlus. Fantastic, now I can finish up the setup. 
Okay, so uh, now that we have access to our home screen, there is the last thing that you want to do, which is perform a factory reset of the device through settings. Right now we haven't really bypassed anything or we haven't really removed the, by, uh, the FRP. Or we just kind of like circumvented it. So to fully unlock it now, all you need to do is navigate into the settings. Now the reason we didn't do that before when we opened up settings is because when we would do that while still the device was in the setup stage, this wouldn't have done anything. But now that the device is fully set up, it knows that it's set up. So when you go to the settings and perform a factory reset, it considers the fact that the device is set up, you're in my home screen, everything seems fine. Reset will remove everything now. So in the system settings, you want to select reset options, erase all data, erase all data, and then select confirm. And this will begin factory resetting your device. And that is the last thing that you want to do. Now, I'm not going to go through this on the video just because it's a fully reset, like it's a normal reset. There is not much to it. Once it begins, it's fully automatic. And once it's completed, you are taken back to the setup screen, at which point you can set up your device in whatever way you want to. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.